Hey everyone, Extremis here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to change the bubble colors inside iMessage or Messages on a Mac. Now, keep in mind this works for Yosemite, El Capitan, and Sierra, but the process is different on the, la on the latter and on Yosemite because Apple has incorporated something called the SIP, which is the System Integrity Protection, which you need to turn off before you can uh, use this app. So first, you want to go ahead and go to a browser of your choice and go to this GitHub. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description. Now what you want to do is just scroll down to where you see download the latest version. So you download that. Wait for it to finish, and then you extract the app, and that's the app. So, you want to restart your Mac, and while it's restarting, you want to press Command R over and over. I'm just spamming it because sometimes it just decides not to work. There we go. So once you see a loading indicator, that means that it did work. Now we just finish for uh, wait for it to finish loading. By the way, I apologize for recording this on my phone and having shit quality, but since the video requires a restart on my MacBook, I can't really use any software record the screen as the software will just stop recording as soon as I restart my MacBook so yeah I apologize for that but I hope you can follow along I'll be leaving some text uh, on the screen to make uh, make it easier for you to read the commands that I'll be running and stuff and keep in mind you don't need to do any of this if you're on for Yosemite okay so what you want to do here is just go to utilities. Now keep in mind, it might be a little laggy in this section for whatever reason. You want to open terminal and wait for it. There we go. You want to run csrotil disable. I'm typing it slowly just so you can read it, and it should say successfully disabled uh, system integrity protection. Please restart the machine for the changes to take effect. So what I'm going to do here, just go ahead and restart. And there we go. So. It might not load for you, for me, it did, but that's just, I don't know, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. But once it does load in, uh, you can open the app and actually use it. So, you open the app, and it might show up that you can't open an app that you download from the internet. So you might have to disable that from uh, preferences. Anyways, here you have three sections inside the app, which is received sent via iMessage and not sent via iMessage. Now received is the color of the bubble uh, of the person who's sending you the message. So the other person. Mm, I'm gonna set it to a color such as that. For sent I'm gonna put a golden color. Sort of like that. Make it a little lighter not sent, I'm going to put a darker shade of gold. There we go. Now, we want to apply it, and it should have worked, so now we open the messages. 
and as you can see it did work it changed the bubble colors so there we go that's how it works now what you want to do next is actually restart your macbook again and do the same thing command r over and over now the reason we do this is because you need to have that system integrity protection on what we do to enable it is actually run terminal from the recovery screen again but this time instead of running cs root till disable we run cs root till enable and you can also check the status if you want to be extra safe which i'll show you the command of course here it'll say it's disabled because you need to restart for the changes to take effect but you go to utilities you go to terminal And you run CS Rotil enable. So now it says it's enabled. And the way you can check if it's enabled is CS Rotil status. So as I said, it shows it's disabled because it needs to be restarted. Now I'm going to show you the messages app again just to show you that it's real and that it actually works. And uh, yeah. Basically, the changes will stay, still have effect, even though uh, SIP has been enabled. So yeah, that's a good thing. You only need to disable it to run the app. And yeah, just make sure you're happy with the results before you enable it again. Because uh, it just it takes a while, so it might be inconvenient. So you might want to get that perfect gradient or whatever color you want for your bubbles before you actually enable SIP again. So here as we can see, it's still there. The bubbles are still the right color. And yeah, but now if you run this, just showing you, if I apply this, uh, it will ask for my password. And even if I enter my password, shit, I think I moved you. Even if I enter it, it will say that it could not write to messages that app preference files because it has the SIP. Basically, that's it. You gotta disable SIP and you can run that again. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope it was informative enough. And I really apologize for the bad video quality, but I couldn't. Literally, I'm gonna show you how I've set this up to work. So I have a cardboard box here which was holding my iPhone in place, so my iPhone went in there to record the screen because I don't really have another place to put it and type at the same time. Holding it is just a little shaky. So yeah, again, I apologize for the video quality, but I still hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video. And yeah, bye.